Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I get one question more than any other question it seems like. I get this question on my Facebook and my videos and everywhere and that is what is the best brand? Who's good, who's not? And one common trend that you'll see across our industry is most heating and air guys can just about all agree that the brand matters less than who installs it. So the installation or who installs it matters more than what brand you select. Of course, we all have our preferences. We may disagree on who's the best, but ultimately we can all agree that usually the installer matters more than the brand that they install. And so the question becomes, I've actually gotten this question, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a bad installer versus a good installer? And that's what this video is going to cover. In fact, if you found this video, we're gonna do a series of videos where we're gonna talk about bad installations, bad installers, and some examples that you as the homeowner can sniff out and find if you're getting a good installation or not. So check out this video, but check out the whole entire series. And our goal is to arm you, to help you figure out if you're getting a good installation or not. Stay tuned. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna piggyback off of some of the videos we've already done, and we're gonna talk more about how installers, when they install your system, are not doing what they're supposed to. And what I mean by that is, we see folks all the time when they're installing a new system, they'll reuse components that should probably be replaced. So what do I mean by that? Things like drain pans. If you have an old drain pan under the old system, so you pull it out and yeah, you got the secondary drain pan. Let's go ahead and get that pulled out of there and replaced as well. New with the new system. Things like condensate pumps. I don't care if that condensate pump is still working. If you're putting in a new system, let's go ahead and replace the condensate pump. I can't tell you how many times I've seen other heating and air guys cut corners, they install a new system for a customer and they're calling us now because they won't answer their phone or whatever reason, they're calling us now and we'll go there and we'll find a brand new system that's only a year old with a pump that looks like it's 20 years old. So let's go ahead and get those pumps replaced, everything up to date. Another thing would be electrical components. I like to go ahead and if I can replace the disconnect and whips going to the outdoor units. If there's electrical components inside that need to be replaced, look like they've seen better days, we're replacing the system. Let's just take a moment and replace those components as well. Another thing that I see is people reusing pads and platforms. I don't know that it's that big of a deal if you reuse a pad, but it's a huge deal if, if you replace a system with a new system and you reuse this old wooden platform. I don't care how sturdy it is right now, that system should last them a good 10, 15, 20 years, and that platform is not gonna last them 20 years. They're just gonna have issues down the road that if those installers would just, again, take a moment, get it installed properly, they won't be having those issues. And the last thing is installing mismatched equipment. I did a whole video on AHRI matchups, installing equipment that's matched to one another. It keeps your warranties valid, make sure the system's operating the way it was engineered and designed to operate. And we see folks still to this day, even though it's not an AHRI match, they may have issues, they don't care, they're just trying to make a quick buck and they'll just replace the outdoor or the indoor unit and not replace it all. I just had an email with a customer. We went back and forth for, it seemed like forever. I was trying to help him. He was a subscriber on our new HVAC guide website and I was trying to help him out and what we realized was they had replaced the furnace and things were not operating properly because the furnace thought since it was a different brand that the system was in cooling mode when it was actually in heating mode because of the reversing valve, which was different based on that brand. Some brands engage the reversing valve in cooling, some 
brands engage the reversing valve in heating. And that makes a difference. So again, it's just cutting corners. We see installers just not replacing everything new like they should. If you're putting in a new system, let's go ahead and replace it all new and go from there. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad, avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.